Hey folks, uh, this lesson is on rotation. So, so far we've done, uh, well lately we've done reflections where we reflected uh, an image over a line. And then we did uh, the slide uh, translation. So a translation was where we slid uh, a point over, or in our case we did triangles, we did slide translations. This one's a rotation. So before I start you guys, I want to remind us what clockwise means and what counterclockwise means. So, you know, if you looked at the clock in the classroom, the hand goes in this direction right here. So this is called clockwise right here. And then so the opposite would be counterclockwise. So if it went backwards, it would be counterclockwise. Okay, so I'm going to use um, these little arrows right here. This little arrow means it's going to go clockwise. And this little arrow means it's going to go counterclockwise. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, plot the point A, which is 4, 2. Okay, so there it is right there. And then I'm going to have you guys uh, draw a dotted line from the origin. Okay, a dotted line goes from the origin right here uh, to that point right there. And I did it in green right there. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is make two more dotted lines, one horizontal and one vertical from the point. So I'm going to draw a horizontal from the point straight over and stop right there. And then draw a vertical from the point and go straight down and stop right there. Okay, so there it is right there. And do you see that little rectangle right there that we just made? See this little rectangle right here? What we're, what we're going to do is stand this rectangle up. So we're going to rotate it. So now we're going to rotate this rectangle up counterclockwise about the origin right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is, okay, here we go. I can see if I can do it right here. So um, I'm going to take this point. Now it's kind of hard for me to do that. I'm going to rotate it up. Okay, now this point is kind of hard. It's got a pivot right there at the origin. So I've got to kind of move it while I'm doing it. So when I rotate it up, I'm going to have to slide it over. So there it is, rotated 90 degrees. And then I'm going to slide it over right there. Okay, let me get it fit right in there nice and perfectly right there. Okay, so when we slide it over and in, so now we've rotated. See how we rotated this, uh, this rectangle up? It went right there. Okay, so uh, it's asking where's our new point located right there? Well, our new point located is, uh, looks like it's going to be right there at negative 2, 4. Okay, it's over 2 to the left 2, up 4. Okay, now, do you see this right angle right here. Okay, this is a rotation. It's a right angle. It's called a 90 degree angle. So what we did is we rotated it 90 degrees uh, counterclockwise. So notice that right angle right there with the origin that connects the two dots. So the right angle with these two green lines. There goes I have a fire in my fireplace. So that's what that big pop is right there. So, um, so there's a right angle right there, and we rotated it 90 degrees clockwise right there. So from this point to the origin, and the origin to that point, it makes a 90 degree angle, and we rotated it counterclockwise. It went in this direction, counterclockwise, okay? And it took this point up here. All right, so the next part is, uh, this is a, rot uh, a rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise. So if we took our XY pair uh, and rotated it 90 degrees clockwise about the origin, the, the ordered pair, we just flip these uh, letters around, or the numbers in this case, flip the numbers around and negate or take the opposite of your Y coordinate. So it becomes negative Y, X. So check this out, you guys. Here's our point. Here's X. Here's Y. So if I flip them around and change the sign of Y, it becomes negative 2, 4. Okay, so the, to rotate a point 90 degrees counterclockwise, counterclockwise, you guys, then it, it, you flip them around, it becomes negative y, x. So if this is x, y, then this is going to be negative y, x, so negative 2, 4. Okay, all right, so predict what happens uh, uh, when the coordinates, uh, what the coordinates will be of a double prime if you rotated a prime 90 degrees more counterclockwise. So let's rotate this 90 degrees more counterclockwise, okay? And we can just use our ordered pair trick. We can flip them around and negate the second one, okay? Remember, counterclockwise about the origin, we take your xy coordinate, which in this case, this is x, this is y, and we flip them around and make it negative yx. So it's going to be negative 4, negative 2, okay? So there it is right there, all right? And uh, so now notice the relationship between A and A double prime. Here's A right here, and then here's A double prime right here. What do you notice about these two numbers and these two numbers? 
You see how they're the same numbers, but they're just opposites of each other? You see that? This is negative 4 and negative 2. This is 4, 2. Okay, so that's going to be our new rule right here. It makes a nice straight line, and the straight line uh, is 180 degrees. So, uh, to rotate a point x, y, 180 degrees, the point just becomes negative x, negative y. Okay, so here, look at this right here. So it becomes, so if I rotated this point 180 degrees, which is 90 plus 90, by the way, 90 to here and then 90 to here, there's two right angles, 90 plus 90 makes this 180 right here. This xy becomes negative x, negative y, so negative 4, negative 2. Okay, now let's rotate point B, which is 2, 1, 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin three times, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and gra uh, graph it and make it go about the origin three times. Okay, so there's B, 2, 1. Okay, counterclockwise about the origin takes xy to negative yx. So, I'm going to flip these guys and negate the 1. So, it's going to be negative 1, positive 2. So, B uh, at 2, 1 becomes B prime at negative 1, negative 2. Now, I'm going to flip this xy of uh, 90 degrees. So, it's going to change the sign and flip them around. So it's going to become negative 2, negative 1. So there's B double prime right there. Okay. Now it says we want to do it one more time and make B triple prime. Okay. So there it is, B triple prime. I just flip them around and change the sign. So since this one's negative, this is going to be a positive one right there. All right. Now I'm going to draw these, uh, uh, these lines from the origin right there and make some right angles right there. So there's a 90 degree rotation. You see that? There's another 90 degree rotation, and then we did it one more time and made another 90 degree rotation. All three of those 90s together makes a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation about the origin. You guys probably know that a whole circle is 360 degrees, you guys. Okay, so we almost did a whole circle all the way around. We just stopped right there. We did a 270 degree rotation. Okay, then let's just look at these two points right here. This is 2, 1. This is 1, negative 2. Well, what relationship do you see on those? Okay, so let's look at that relationship between B and B triple prime. Okay, uh, B, which is 2, 1, and B triple prime, which is 1, negative 2, have their relationship x, y, and y, negative x. Okay, now... A 270 degree counterclockwise rotation is the same as a 90 degree clockwise rotation. Can you see I just took this 90 degrees and went this way? Instead of going 270 degrees around this way, that's 270, it's the same as 90 degrees clockwise this way. Okay, so that's going to bring us our next rule, you guys. If xy is rotated clockwise 90 degrees, it becomes y negative x. Okay, so if this uh, 2, 1 was rotated 90 degrees clockwise, it's going to become 1, negative 2, because I just flip them around and negate the x right there. Okay, so we can rotate it three times if you want, counterclockwise, or just rotate it once clockwise right there and use this rule right there. Okay, so here's a review, you guys. If xy is rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise, it becomes negative y, x. If xy is rotated 180 degrees, and I, that can be clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter because it's always 180, becomes negative x, negative y. And if it's rotated 90 degrees clockwise, it becomes y, negative x. Okay, let's just try this real quick and then we'll be done. Rotate uh, 5, negative 2, 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, well remember, if xy is rotated 90 degrees clockwise, it becomes y, negative x. So it's going to be, this is y, negative 2, and then we negate this, so negative 2, negative 5, that's what it would be right there. Okay, I hope that makes sense, you guys. See you in class. Take care.